Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Well, hello and welcome to Postscript. My name is Adam McIntyre and I am joined today by Pastor Dan Slagle who just preached part three of our Abraham series, a sermon all about moving from selfishness to selflessness. Pastor Dan, thank you so much for being here with us thank today. Thank you. Uh, we had a couple questions come in, so I'm just gonna, just gonna fire them off. Okay. Uh, so the first one, uh, someone asked, uh, if God did not create us to be selfish, uh, then why is it our human nature uh, to be selfish, even from a very young age? Where did that come from? Sure. Well, uh, he's absolutely right in the first half of the question. God did not create us to be selfish, sure. but uh, we have all been infected with a sin nature. Uh, that is simply endemic right. to the human situation yeah. that uh, from birth forward we are sinful, selfish creatures. And so it comes as no surprise yeah. that an infant's first words are mine. Sure. It, you know, We start exhibiting it very early and it's a battle we fight. Some fight throughout their lives. Right. Uh, others, I suppose, revel in it. <laughs> uh, but if we're following Christ anyway and seeking to grow in sanctification, it, it, it's a battle we fight throughout our lives. Well, it makes sense when you think about it's our sin that introduced death into the world, right? Mm -hmm. and, and it's death that produces that, uh, that feeling of self-preservation. That's right. Right, and, yeah. which leads to the selfishness. Um, and so, yeah, you're right. I think it is, it's our sin nature which then brings out that selfishness in us. And it's, it is strange how you can see it from such early, early ages. Early on. Yeah. yeah. Um, so this next question uh, is one that uh, I'm excited to hear this side of the story as well. What is Becky's side of the story about the move from Atlanta to Texas? Okay. <laughs> well, uh, at, at the risk of putting words in my wife's mouth, I think I can safely say um, she was reluctant at first. Mm -hmm. Because as I mentioned, Atlanta is home. Sure. Uh, and the thought of leaving all that was familiar and certainly the thought of leaving family when we had three small children was not one she was excited about. But we took a whole year to pray about it. And with every passing month, we got a new green light that, that came in all shapes and sizes. Yeah. Everything from my, my bishop giving me blessing to, to going, yeah. Uh, to uh, the sale of our homes working out, you know, just lots sure. of, of different things. I remember after we had been here for about uh, four or five weeks, I guess, we were driving up Champion Forest Drive uh, right there in front of Kroger, yeah. and Becky looked at me kind of sideways and said, uh, are you missing home? And I said, no, I'm really not. Yeah. And we both felt kind of guilty, actually, <laughs> that sure, yeah. we were not more homesick. Sure. But uh, God just has confirmed over and over uh, since we've been here that this, this was the place He had in mind for us. And I think if she were sitting here, she would wholeheartedly affirm that. I think that too. I believe that too. Well, Dan, thank you so much yeah. uh, for sharing with us. And thank you so much for your sermon. It was great. Uh, and thank you all for tuning in. We will see you all next week. Thanks for joining us for Postscript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org slash postscript.